Follow me to Apex, my friends. Reaper Hunter 23 here, welcoming you back to Let's Play Dragon Fable. All right, so today, what I've decided that we're gonna start on is the Fire War quest. Oh man, do I love this quest! It was like the first time that the game like got serious for a minute, and it was. Even as a kid, I was like, oh man, this is crazy. Anyway, a plea for help. A fire war is swept over the lands to the far, far to the east, and it's getting closer. Conan got a disturbing letter and would like to speak with you. You have to help me, please. I've gotten a letter from my family. Our town is under attack from a giant fire dragon. A fire dragon. I'll do what I can. Aw, oh, poor dude. I've been gone so long. If anything were to happen to them, I could never forgive myself. Please, you're a true hero. You've saved Falcon Reach so many times. Please go and defeat this dragon and save my family. Oh, Galanoff, that makes sense. He has beef with fire dragons. I'm glad you could come. We have a serious fight on our hands. A Kriloth. Okay, he has beef with this specific fire dragon. <laughs> He's come laying waste to farmland here, and we have to stop him. My blood brother Demento has come to help. Kriloth has always been one of the most powerful fire dragons on the lore. He's been rampaging over the entire continent for years, with many casualties left in his wake. Do not underestimate him. The Kriloth is now in possession of the fire orb? Oh no. Because of his deception of another adventurer, much like you. It's probably Dracoth. He, Kriloth probably tricked Dracoth. If he's so powerful, how are we going to stop him? I don't know. We have to try, though. We're going to have to get close to a Kriloth first, which means fighting our way through his minions. Good luck. You're going to need it. Yep. Alright, let's get going. Kanon. But yeah, up to this point, like, uh, you know, the Dark Orb quest had its moments, but for the most part, this game had been just, like, fun fairy tale adventure stuff, with the occasional kind of, like, dark implication rather than, you know, actually being, like, serious. And this proves that, in this quest, went and proved that it works. You can do this really strong tonal shift and I was I am definitely here for it and the game just this tonal shift eventually you know it doesn't stick <laughs> quite when you uh, move on to the other things but or not or at least it doesn't quite stick right away but the game definitely undergoes a tonal shift um, in this di further in this direction, the longer time goes on, and it's really impressive that they manage to pull it off in the way that they do, because, like, I find that it really works. They, f they have a pretty solid balance of, like, levity and seriousness by the time things are all said and done. Sun Warrior. Um. Yeah, I don't remember. Exactly. Flamingo. I love that name. Uh. 
uh, smack you around. I don't think this gets into anything too crazy as far as like the number of minions I fight. I think it's like three or four screens. Oh, my, my uh, mana's starting to get kind of low. I really should have uh, consumed my mana potion before I jumped into this fight. <laughs> I'll be okay. They're just they're just a couple of flans or blobs, whatever. You know what I mean. Don't get loud with me. I'll we'll find him first, or we'll kill that one first. Uh, oh, he survived. <clears throat> All right, we'll just do that. Oh, of course, it's got a friend. Why would the dragon just fight me on his own? Eighty-four, nice. Wow. Oh uh, yeah, take you out. One, one, one. Smote you. Oh my god. Acryloth is huge. Ha ha. Oh, he's got the red on black. He's got the Zan text. Um. Yeah, I am Acryloth, the most powerful fire dragon this world has ever seen. Yeah, I'm not doing that voice the whole time. With the fire orb in my possession, you have no hope of ever stopping me. Look how small we are. Like can almost cover my character up with my mouse. You have no hope of ever stopping me. I will burn this land to cinder and rule it with my army of fire. I will find a way to stop you. I have to. You see, you have some mighty big teeth there, Kriloth. It'd be a shame 
if I grabbed some rusty pliers and just went tink, 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 tink. That wouldn't work. He would eat me, and I don't think all of the people in the world can restrain him. Uh, yeah, so. <laughs> uh, now we get to try and fight him. Something must be done to stop Akriloth. He can't be allowed to destroy the land. Summon dragon and fight. So the rumors of the dragon box were true. It matters. It is no matter, though, for I am fire itself. No newborn dragon can come close to my power with the fire orb inside of me. Well, it's worth a shot. He has so much more HP than we do. We have 49,000. As opposed to our measly 10,000. Oh man. So I'm pretty sure you are eventually, like, just gonna get got by, like, as soon as he gets the ch chance to, uh, actually hit me, it's probably game over. But, you know, I figure I'll make it interesting. Ouch. Aha, uh -huh. suck it, Akriloth. Yeah, like as soon as I run out of mana, it's probably I'm probably toast. I also feel like my attacks are doing exponentially less damage the more the fight goes on. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, there it is. He killed me. I have been slain. You were, you were unable to defeat Akriloth. Is there anything that can stop him? Uh, yeah, let me just re-equip all my stuff. Uh, not the dagger of the amulet. We do not want to be fighting fire element things with my, uh, fire element weapon. That would be bad. Um. And let's go. Aftermath. Akriloth remains undefeated and is free to wreak havoc on the land. Something must be done. Ha ha ha. Remember this day. I spare you only so you can watch as I burn this land to the ground. Oh god. I failed all these villagers. Conan's family. Hi. Akriloth is very powerful. At least you survived, though. Only because he let me. We'll regroup. Akriloth's pride will be his own downfall. Yeah, leaving us breathing is a mistake. Fire has a counter. <clears throat> I'll head north, brother, and search for an ice weapon that can take that fiery menace down once and for all. Ah, my fi Oh, 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 no. Conan. I'm sorry. There was nothing I could do. 
Now Kirillov has the fire orb. He was too powerful. Oh no! Oh no! No, why didn't I go when they needed me? You were supposed to save them. Well, that won't, won't, hey. You've taken down necromancers, giant monsters, how could a dragon defeat you? Hey man, you do- who, oh. Why don't you do it? You're supposed to be a hero. I- I tried. Kriloth is an ultra magma dragon. He is insanely powerful. You failed. My family is dead. Ooh. I don't want to hear your excuses. Yikes. If you seek revenge, the best way to fight fire. <laughs> With fire. Oh, Zan. Duh, this, this song here is really cool. I don't remember what this is called. It sounds almost like the beginning of another of a different thing, but... You could not save Conan's family from a Kriloth, but Demento has gone in search of an ice weapon that may... Well, okay. They keep referring to a Kriloth as her in these little after-quest blurbs, but everyone refers to a Kriloth as him in actual dialogue, and it is throwing me off. Conan has turned another direction for revenge. Oh man, so yeah, like like I'm like I was saying, oh, Conan's just gone now. Like I was saying, like this that was the first instance where losing actually has some form of well, first of all, we don't we haven't lost very often yet in this game. Like aside from when Sepulcher Molly whopped us uh, on the uh, ninja place. Which, still, even then, that didn't really have any consequences to it. We still kept to the wind orb, I think. I don't remember. He might have taken it off of us. But that still didn't really have much consequence to it. All it did was show us that Sepulchre is way better than us. No one died as a result. He just kind of menaced us. This, we got Conan's family de killed. Or, they died as a result of us being unable. We didn't get them killed. They died as a result of And now he's linked up with Zan, of all people. Anyway. It's just really fascinating. I'm glad that they started exploring it. Conan has been at work at the forge since he returned. He refuses to speak to anyone. We must defeat Akriloth. Demento is planning on heading north. Would you like to speak to him? Akriloth must be stopped. We'll go north and search the frozen wastes there. There is a clan of ice dragons, as well as a rumor of something more ancient. It's something that dwells in the glacial caves and collects the frozen remnants of battles long past. Will you go with me? Of course, Demento. Whatever I can do to bring down that fire dragon. What or who are we searching for? Long ago, the elemental lords placed the guardians on lore to protect their realms. It is said that one of the Ice Guardians became corrupted and greedy. Uh, what's my time at? Instead of protecting the area left to it, it incited battles and stole treasures and weapons, including the Ice Scythe. Ice Scythe? Ooh. That sounds like fun. The Ice Scythe was crafted from the coldest glacial ice cut from the depths of a lost cavern and enchanted with a powerful special effect. I believe that if you hit a krill off with the ice scythe just once, it will drain his power and transfer some of his strength to you. It should make the fight fair, but first we need to find the corrupted guardian's lair. Oh, and now we're back here fighting, uh... Oh, I guess I can re-equip my fire daggers then, huh? What's over here? 
do you want to eat this? No, do not actually eat fire. We're not going to do that yet, because, you know, maybe we'll die. Um, on the way. Ah, good old frost goblins and snowballs. <laughs> nice. I mean, yeah, if I can just get by without engaging, I'm totally gonna do that. As much as I would love to just risk it for the biscuit and throw, like, three daggers hoping that it knocks them down all in one go, I don't... The idea of the damage that I could do, or they could do if I don't kill them, is not very appealing. That was probably a bit superfluous. I could have probably just thrown my dagger. Oh, kill Gwyns. Nice. I, I think this one might be a little lengthy if I remember correctly, actually. Because, like, I go as far as into, like, a cave or something, I believe. Maybe it's a two-parter. I don't remember. I was hoping I would be able to avoid that. Screw you guys. Nearly gone. 